Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. X360CE, which stands for Xbox 360 Controller Emulator, will make Farming Simulator 15 believe that the controller you're using is a Xbox 360 controller. I can't guarantee that this will work with your controller, but it's worth a try. First, you need to download X360CE and Google makes that quite easy to find. Just click on the download link for the download page. You will need to choose between the first two items on this list depending on your system's architecture. They're what they call libraries. I'll go with the 64-bit. Thank you very much. And the third item on this list you need to download regardless. This is the main app. This app will use the library you just downloaded to emulate your controller. The fourth item is not necessary. It's a tool with the only function of giving you information of your system. Now it's time to get the zip files from your downloads folder. You'll need to also open your Farming Simulator's main executable folder. In my case, I bought it through Steam. Okay, Steam Apps, Common, Farming Simulator 15, and then again, I use the 64 version. <coughs> if you bought it from Giants directly, you might want to check out the Program Files folder. So we're going to extract well, I'll just drag and drop to this directory all the files here and here. This is good. And let's run the app. Accept the warning. Click yes to create the file. And then will search automatically for the settings. Click Next. Wait for the two green check marks. It should tell you the name of your controller. Here mine. Here is mine. Finish. Alright. If you chose the 64-bit version, the appearance of the Xbox 360 controller on screen will stay grayed out but it still worked, so let's continue. This main window is divided in two sections. On the left you have all the buttons on the left of your controller and of course on the right side you have all the buttons on the right side of your controller. On mine there are some empty fields. I do not have the guide button so that's our right. These down here are mainly for the sticks and the D-pad. Now here you have a general D-pad option here. You have the general stick buttons here or axes. If you're in game and your sticks or D-pads feel inverted, that's when you're going to come here and play with those. Otherwise, just leave them blank. If you're not sure what button does what, you can click in a field, click record, and press on your button. Now since I pressed on the same button, it did not change. If I press another button, it's going to change. Like this one got all messed up now. <laughs> You can also go in the tab with the name of your controller and mash on the buttons. Uh, I have a sticky button 8. But other than that, like the D-pad here, the sticks here will show what they are doing, and the buttons up here. So you can compare with the general settings. Other than that, it's 
pretty much everything is okay here. Just save before exiting. It would ask you anyway. Now you can launch your game and it should work no problem. Except that in my case I have this warning here. You can click OK and it will launch the game. But there's a quick fix for this. You have to open your x360ce.ini file with a text editor. I have a few here, Notepad++ or the regular Notepad should come up here. Okay, the only thing you need to do, go under the options text, you're going to type version equals 1. Save that, save, and now run your game. I still get that ding sound, but at least I don't get this error message that stops the game from loading. Okay, let's check out the controller options. And here I have all the letters on my buttons. And right stick, left stick, right button, D-pad left, right button, D-pad right, and everything. Let's go here. All right, so I've got my right stick working, my left stick working as well. My all my buttons work. That is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, if you found this tutorial helpful. You know the drill. Hit the like button and all that jazz. This was Electromech, and have a good one.